Yo, what is up YouTube? Lee the Captain here with another YouTube video. I'm nothing other than Casper. And in today's YouTube video, I'm going to be talking about how much do you need to have invested in Casper in order to become a Casper millionaire. I know it's everyone's goal to become a crypto millionaire and congratulations to everyone who already is a crypto millionaire. However, we as part of the Casper army also want to become crypto millionaires, okay? So we can do it through something like Casper, not financial advice. So let's jump straight into the video. How much Casper to become a millionaire? You have, you have to take a look at the current market conditions right now. Casper is at 2.9 cents and the current market cap is $159 million. And before you wonder how I actually got these numbers and these scenarios, what have you, right? I actually got this from a website called thecoinperspective.com where you can put your favorite coins, right? Your favorite cryptocurrencies and see its future pricing and potential pricing and how much, you know, returns you would get at, you know, what you have invested at the moment. So I'm going to link you guys to that website in the description below. And before I jump any further, I want to first explain how my chart works. And this chart right here shows what you need to have invested in Casper at this exact moment in order to become a Casper millionaire. So right now, Casper is at 2.9 cents. And when we take a look at the examples below, we see that the green represents the potential price of Casper at that current market cap. And the red shows what you would need to have invested right now at this current exact moment. The black numbers afterwards represent the amount of times your money would have multiplied at that market cap and at that current price of Casper. So for example, I use this example right here, $5 billion market cap, Casper would be at 92 cents. The amount needed invested at this current exact moment would be $33,333. And you would have a 30X at that point, which would return your $33,333 investment to a million dollars. I have put these possible scenarios into calculation. And if you just think about it right here, I honestly think the first milestone we have to hit in terms of Casper is Casper at around 50 cents. Because, you know, I know a lot of people are hoping for Casper to hit a dollar. However, I think 50 cents should be the main focus at this point, right? You know, at this point, you know, right? If Casper were to go to 55 cents, you would need around $55,000 invested in Casper in order to become a millionaire. I know that's asking for a lot. However, you know, that is honestly what you need, right? In order to become a Casper millionaire at the 50 cent, you know, 55 cent milestone. And in my opinion, I know, right, you know, not everyone has 55K lying around. And I know personally, a lot of people don't even have that much invested in their whole crypto portfolio together, let alone one single cryptocurrency. So that's kind of a lot. However, that is honestly what you need, right? Casper at a dollar, that's the next psychological milestone, you know, investors, right? Want to hit, right? At least online in the space and personally for me as well, right? Casper at a dollar, Casper at a dollar. That's always what I'm thinking about, right? And at that point, you need $33,000 invested. See, that's still a lot, right? However, Honestly, what other business or side hustle or what have you, do you know can turn $33,000 to a million dollars, right? That's just insane returns and just shows you how early we are in Casper. However, for those who don't have that much invested in Casper, I'm gonna scroll below and show you the next milestones that I have when it comes to Casper. Casper right now at a $10 billion market cap, you would need around $16,000. And at that point, you have a 62X. Casper is at $1.85. And at that point, if you have 16K, you would have invested right now, you would have a million dollars at a $10 billion market cap when it comes to Casper. Just think about that. 16K to a million dollars. And before you think about, hey, isn't $10 billion market cap really, really hard? You know, isn't it? Isn't it kind of hard to achieve? And in my opinion, in the world of crypto, honestly, not really, right? You know, because Casper has actual use case. We've seen cryptocurrencies like Doge go to $88 billion market cap just based off it being listed on these major exchanges with no real use case whatsoever. Not, nothing like Casper, right? Casper actually has a real use case, enterprise optimized and actually primed for institutional adoption. So if we just take a look at something with no utility getting up to that price, you know, with absolutely no use case, just think about the potential of Casper 
moving forward. So if right now, right, Casper were to grow to a $15 billion market cap, you would need around $10,000, which I know it's still a lot of money, right? However, 10,000 a million, that's almost, in that's insane, right? That's almost unheard of as well. So yeah, at a $20 billion market cap, you would need around $8,000. That's still a lot, I get it. However, it is honestly what you need to become a Casper millionaire. And before you guys wonder, hey, what? Do, why do I need 8,000 to get to a million dollars, right? You know, honestly, that's just insane, right? I mean, what other thing, like as I, as I mentioned before, I right, could net you those returns, you know, almost, you know, it's almost nothing, right? However, when we just take a look at this in a broader sense, right? If Casper were to hit Doge's all-time high market cap of 88 billion, you would only need $1,800 invested in Casper at the time of this recording. That's mind-blowing, right? Only $1,800 to return $1 million. That's insane, right? And a lot of people right now, they're wondering, what's the future of Casper? What's the future of Casper? And in my opinion, we're still very early, right? This shows you how early we are, right? Not many cryptocurrencies out there could potentially net you these type of returns. So, yeah, you know, as we recap right here, it's the, the basic gist of it is you would need, you know, less and less invested if the market cap were to go higher and the price to go higher, right? And you would need a lot more invested if Casper were to actually, you know, just hit these smaller milestones, right? Which is self-explanatory. And when we think about it right now, what contributes to the increase in prices of cryptocurrencies, as I mentioned before, exchange listings, right? Because think about it, how was Doge able to hit 88 billion based off of no utility whatsoever. They were able to do that because they were listed in, in crypto exchanges like Binance, like Coinbase, like Kraken, right? You know, all these major exchanges contribute to why Dogecoin could reach those levels. And the fact is that at this current time right now, most of these crypto investors are made of retail investors. So if you just think about it, retail investors, what they want, they want ease of buying, they want easily accessible coins, and you know, most of them just want to FOMO, right? So how do they actually get to that? They need, they need, you know, exposure, right? Through major exchanges. And that's what exactly what Casper is doing right now. They just recently got listed in KuCoin, by the way, and it's already number three in terms of volume. It shows you what? It shows you that all you really need is to just get, you know, it's kind of like a hack, right? Just get, just getting listed in the major exchange just will just make your cryptocurrency at least have a small pump, right? Temporarily, right? Which is just, you know, it's a cheat code in crypto, right? And Casper is going ham. They've gotten listed in six so far this year, which is absolutely insane. I'm still waiting for that Coinbase and Binance, you know, those tip of the spear cryptocurrency exchanges. And before you guys actually say, hey, why would we get listed? What benefit would we have getting listed in a bear market? Because people say, hey, why would we get listed in a bear market? It's not going to really do anything about the price. But if you think about it, what Casper is doing is absolutely genius because they are trying to get listed during a bear market when people actually have time to concentrate and focus on their favorite crypto projects, right? Not only focus on price, you know, personally for me, I know a couple of my friends that actually understood now. They actually understand and truly see the future in Casper because of the bear market, because prices are boring, because prices are not pumping. They're not focused on a quick buck right now. They're actually focused on the long term and investing in things they actually believe in. And before people actually wonder what, why would Casper be so valuable in the future? Because it's enterprise optimized. And as I've said before, right, right now, crypto is mainly built off of, you know, these retail investors. However, in the future, it is going to be built, you know, and geared towards institutional adoptions, which will stabilize the price and no longer be dependent on the price of Bitcoin. Casper right now, including all these other cryptos, right, even Ethereum is dependent on the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin goes down, you know, all these cryptos go down, right? And the thing is, once institutions actually adopt crypto, once they actually see the light, once they actually have a real use case, it doesn't matter if the price of Bitcoin is going up and down because Bitcoin is just a store of value, right? These cryptos actually have a real use case. So 
once institutions actually really use this, for example, something like Casper, the price of Bitcoin could go down and up. It doesn't matter. They're still being used. They're still having a use case. So they're going to stabilize and not be affected by these, you know, you know, by the price movement of Bitcoin, basically, right? And Casper is basically Ethereum 3.0. It already has proof of stake. It's already scalable. If Ethereum were to do its 2.0 upgrade, it still can't fix its scalability issues, in which, in my opinion, honestly, which is why I'm always kind of concerned about the longevity of Ethereum, because will Ethereum still be here in 10 to 15 years? Honestly, I probably think that most likely not, because if you think about it, something like Casper, which actually is way better than Ethereum already, is already here, right? It's just these retail investors is what pumping up the price of Ethereum. They still don't understand it, right? These large institutions, they do understand and they truly want to develop on these blockchains, right? That are already optimized for their use case. You know, they don't want to wait a year, two, three years for something that may not even work in the, you know, properly, right? And yeah, right now, when I talk about these you know, milestone prices when it comes to Casper, honestly, right now, it's just going to have to be dependent on Bitcoin. There is no way, you know, to deny that, right? Especially in the short term. But if you think about it right now, all these cryptos, right, are at a fire sale. And cryptos, no matter the crash, right, no matter the downturn, it always fires back on how also it all fires back stronger and bigger than ever. It's like, Every time it goes on, it always goes back all the way up. Just look at this chart right here. This chart tracks the historical data of Bitcoin. Just check this out right here. Every time it's hit the blue line right over here, right? This blue rainbow, it always has a massive firing shot upwards. And that's what we are right now, which is why I personally think that Casper is sort of at a bottom at this point, right? Sure, it could go to its ICO price, I think, at around 1.5 cents. However, look at look at this possible scenario right here, right? It doesn't even really matter if Casper were to go down at that point because just think about it. It didn't even matter if Casper were to go down 50% because you would still not need that much invested in order to become a Casper millionaire. And the beauty about Casper is we're still early, right? We're still part of the early pack. And not only Casper, just the crypto scene in general. And in order to avoid right guessing the price and having you know these peaks and valleys, what I would recommend is actually having a goal. So for example, you personally, for so for example, for me, right? Like I would just say what I would do. For example, we have a goal of Casper at a dollar, right? It's a psychological goal, people want to hit it. So just think about it. The best way to do this is just to continue to dollar cost average and slowly build towards 33,000, right? So that at that point when Casper is a dollar, you have a million dollars. Instead of trying to time the market, seeing where it goes up when it goes down, if you just dollar cost average and focus on accumulating this initial value that you need in order to become a Casper millionaire, it makes things way easier, avoids the guessing, right? and allows you to actually invest in the long term and it makes investing fun. You don't want to see the price drop and you can't invest anymore, right? Because you went all in. I personally felt that, you know, especially last year when I just kept FOMOing and just putting all at once. However, I learned to dollar cost average from those experiences. And in my opinion, this is what I'm doing with Casper right now. My plan with Casper right now is just to dollar cost average. I'm just going to keep dollar cost averaging into Casper until, you know, we, I reach those milestones. However, I also think it's important to have a diversified portfolio because if we just think about it, right, you don't only want to focus on one cryptocurrency. However, I personally believe in Casper and its future in the long term. So yeah, that's, that's just been, you know, a quick brief overview on how, you know, you could potentially become a Casper millionaire in the future and personally what I am doing, right? So it's been Lee the Captain and I'll catch you guys in the next YouTube video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh, peace. Bye.